How's it going guys? Babov here from GN Tech and welcome to a camera comparison between the Oppo Reno and the Xiaomi Mi 9. I'm recording this from the front facing cameras on both of these smartphones at 1080p resolution. Now I'm quickly going to get up and give you guys an overall idea of how both of these cameras manage to capture video coming from the front facing camera as well as audio. But with that being said, I'm going to move into the primary camera specifications followed by some photo and video samples from the primary cameras. So the Oppo Reno has a unique front camera design and a dual camera primary setup compared to the Xiaomi Mi 9's triple camera primary sensor and a more conventional selfie snapper. With both phones retailing for the exact same price, this comparison should be very interesting. Straight away the differences between the phones come from color saturation. The paler looking image from the Oppo Reno isn't as attractive as the Mi 9's saturated one, but neither of these gets the colors exactly spot on. The Reno comes with a chroma boost option that basically enhances the colors of the image which I think makes the colors look more accurate on the Reno whereas the AI on the Mi 9 is a bit too aggressive. There's also a separate AI mode on the Reno which reverts back to the more original paler picture and that's surprising. Oppo could have easily combined the chroma boost and AI to work together rather than having separate options which makes things a bit confusing. Here's a look at another scene where I think the balance of exposure and sharpness is better controlled on the Reno. But if you look more closely, the Reno sample has hints of noise on the underside of the roof which the Mi 9 does not have. Additionally, the Mi 9 has a wide angle mode to capture more of your surroundings which gives you a bit more versatility. AI mode here blows out the Mi 9's image with the AI recognizing this scene as a plant, whereas on the Reno, the scene was simply just referred to as a scene, and that's why I think the balance is better. Once again though, the wide angle lens with AI enabled can arguably be classified as better for people who want more of the surrounding area captured. When it comes to day to day photos though, it's pretty hard to point out a very clear difference between the two phones, and to be honest, that was quite expected. Again with chroma boost and AI enabled respectively, I think the chroma boost works well to keep the color tones true to life, whereas the AI heightens the colors and makes them more pleasing to the eye. It's interesting to see the AI of the Oppo Reno not doing an aggressive job, and we've now seen it in two image samples. While I was here, I thought I would give the 48 megapixel mode a try too, and at face value, you can hardly tell a difference and when cropping into the image, there is still no major difference in detail. Near the same waterfront, I also tried out the zoom capabilities of both phones. At one time zoom, the big difference was the color of the sky that the Mi 9 got more accurate during this late evening. Here's the same sample with AI enabled on both phones. At 2 times zoom, you start to see glimpses of the Mi 9's 2 times optical zoom capability that the Reno does not come with. But in this case, the AI on the Reno does make things a lot sharper for more detail while the Mi 9 is more natural looking. And zooming all the way to 10 times zoom, the Mi 9's sharpness is impressive compared to the Reno both without and with AI enabled where the photo loses a lot of detail. Now we'll move to testing the portrait mode on both phones where in this case you cannot dismiss either phone. The optical zoom lens on the Mi 9 gets you closer to subjects but the overall blur and sharpness of the subject stays very good. Whereas if you're looking at portraits of people, I think the Oppo Reno nails skin tones for the more natural photo. But the Mi 9's photo has a better sharpness and edge detection and gives you more room to play around with if you like to edit your photos a lot. The role sort of reverse on the front where I think the colors from the Mi 9 are far better than the Oppo Reno. The selfie also has a better dynamic range on the Mi 9 and there's an extra option to enable AI on the front too. With portrait mode enabled, I still prefer the Mi 9 because of its natural color but you could argue that the Reno here gives you more room to edit the photo. While edge detection is poor on both phones especially towards the top of my head, I would give it to the Mi 9 for it being slightly better. Once again, the AI mode on the Mi 9 does not make a very significant difference in portrait mode. Moving to low light samples, I think the Reno is able to capture more detail in the dark. Both phones have a night mode where again the Reno's incredible detail stands out. But it's worth noting that the Mi 9's night mode takes only 2 seconds whereas the Reno's takes 5 seconds to click a photo. Here's another sample where the initial result is about on par barring the better light control on the Mi 9. 
With night mode enabled, once again the results are impressive, though here I feel like the Mi 9 has the better sharpness in the overall photo and you can even look inside the store through the glass. It's fair to say that even at night both these phones are really hard to differentiate, but just like in the day, the Mi 9 gives you the added versatility of a wide angle lens, although with it, there is no night mode option available. I also tried out the phone's AI and chroma boost features at night, but aside from the bump in color levels, there was no big difference. And really, you should only be using night mode for the best photos. Lastly, this was to check the overall noise at night, which is about on par from both phones. Again, the night mode from both phones is very handy here, and I even tried out both phones' maximum zoom at night. You can see that the Mi 9 manages to keep more detail on the sign, but neither phone is stable enough to enhance the writing further using night mode. When using the flash from either phones, I think the Oppo Reno takes the better photo in terms of both subject and background detail retention, but rounding up with nighttime selfies, it is the Mi 9 that takes the more natural ones. The Oppo Reno selfies come across as beautified, and if you take a look at the ported modes, each phone has its flaws when it comes to blurring the background, whether that's over my shoulder or towards my ear and hair. Moving to video footage at 1080p 30fps, the quality of footage is about the same, but the Mi 9 definitely offers better stabilization. The Mi 9 is impressively smooth even when running compared to the Oppo Reno's jerky footage. Of course, the wide-angle lens gives you more of the surrounding area to play around with at the expense of sharpness, but it still offers some incredible stabilization both when walking and even when you're running compared to the Oppo Reno's footage. Comparing 4K footage at 30fps, the quality is sharper from the Mi 9's camera, and so is the stabilization when walking. The Oppo Reno becomes even more jittery with 4K footage. The level of stabilization offered by the Mi 9 with 4K footage is just insane. Of course, the 4K footage through the wide-angle lens of the Mi 9 loses sharpness, but does not lose that incredible stability when walking or running, which goes to show the emphasis Xiaomi has put on the Mi 9's video capabilities. The only instance where the jitter starts to creep into the video footage of the Mi 9 is when filming 4K 60fps where the smoother footage sacrifices sharpness and stability, and here the Reno's 4K 30fps footage is better looking, but the Mi 9 having this option at this price point is still very impressive. At night, video quality takes a major hit on both phones. At 1080p 30fps resolution, both phones perform equally, with the extra wide-angle option on the Mi 9 losing even more quality for that extra bit of surrounding area. 4K 30fps footage quality is both less jerky and sharper from the Mi 9 on its regular lens, and while quality drops on the wide lens, the footage is still usable and not that bad given its stabilization. And to wrap up, here's a sample of the Mi 9's 4K 60fps footage which is shakier but still on par with the Reno's 4K 30fps footage. So that's about it for this comprehensive look between these two phones. I think this will give you a very good idea of which phone is better value in terms of camera and hopefully the video helps you make the choice. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming up and thanks for watching. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!